I'm Peter Shire, and I live and work in Los Angeles, California. I was born and raised in Echo Park, and uh, I'm a fourth generation Californian. I started as a potter. I wanted to be a potter. The pottery uh, idea had its limitations as, as a, a real working career. There was always a great value for art and expression in my household, in my parents' house. And so I, uh, that was a natural. We sort of started doing both types of work. And then at one point we were doing functional art or art that had allusions to function and that was used as a bridge to present sculptural ideas and uh, strategies. And then that, there was some point where, where the question was, well, if this is really sculpture or has sculptural value, let's take the quasi-function away and see if it holds. And that, at that point, around 1980, I had also started to work in metal and, and we made, started making both types of sculpture. The piece that's in Greensboro today, one is named Tre Venezia and the other Cassata. So they both have Italian names that refer uh, to very sort of divine parts of the Italian culture. When we talk about bringing uh, mainstream art values into the public arena, it can become difficult because the, the population at large is, is not included in the dialogue of art. And, it, and this is a, uh, a long range uh, history of, of, of economics, of social strata, of social sorting uh, using, using art often. And, and also of the arcane languages that, that artists develop as they relate to the industrial scene and, and so forth. Um, well, how do you bridge it? How do you, how do you make it uh, available? And, and my background in the functional and, and using that as a bridge really is applied. So I'll use um, images that are recognizable. And somehow, uh, along with everything else that's been s said about the piece, there's also a, a, a vision of a rowing galley of these paddles being paddles or oars and, and sticking out from the boat. Of course, this is amazing, and I think they've really got the right idea, which is, you know, fund it yourself, you know, keep it, you know, keep it in a way that it uh, uh, supersedes as much bureaucracy and the typical kinds of power struggles that go on within a group. This is a struggle within the industrial world and uh, within, within our economy and the way that we manufacture uh, both with outsourcing and struggling to keep manufacturing here, art has become one of the genuine uh, shall we say, expressions of a region.